All right, today I'm gonna to take you through a banded deadlift. So the reason we do a banded deadlift is to help the velocity part of our deadlift. Okay, so when we lift, we're trying to always move the weight as fast as possible. Um, but at a heavy weight, sometimes with the bar, it actually, in a, in a regular barbell, it's gonna be hard down the bottom and it's gonna get easier and easier as we get to the top. Using a band allows us to do what's called accommodating resistance. So accommodating resistance means that as the bar gets closer and closer to lockout, the movement actually, is, there's more and more tension at the top because where that band is extending. So the more elastic the band is, then the harder it's going to be to lock it out. So it's a really, really great tool for teaching aggressiveness and for teaching acceleration of the barbell, especially at slightly lighter weights. So the important thing is to, is to find the right uh, band. And first of all, you don't wanna be doing this exercise unless your deadlift form is really dialed in. Okay, if your deadlift form isn't dialed in, you can still do a similar concept, practicing the speed of the deadlift, uh, but without pushing against or pulling against the bands. So I've got sort of a moderate band here. All I'm gonna do is just drop this over the bar. Okay, just literally like this, drops over the bar. And then I'm gonna stand on that band and take my normal stance. I'm gonna grip the um, bar just outside the bands in my normal grip. I'm gonna pull myself into position and then I'm gonna move that bar as fast as I can. Okay, so you can see I really had to accelerate that bar to be able to lock it out. If the band is too heavy for you, then you'll either lose the grip at the top or you just won't be able to lock it out. So we need, we only want, reg, we only really want a small part, um, a small part of tension at the top, especially when you're starting. So that's a banded deadlift and it's set up.